Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be doing the epic classic book shopping with me and bookstore vlog. And I'm also going to do some more shopping, so I thought we could do a collective haul at the end. If you're new here, my name is Karen. I do a lot of books, fashion, and lifestyle content. If any of that is of interest to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, real quick, my outfit, and then we're going to head out. I'll be talking about these glasses when I do the collective haul. Okay, so real quick, my outfit. This top is from a brand I can't remember. It's kind of purple-ish. Jeans are Asian M. And then my shoes are Sam Edelman. And they're like a golden goose tube and super cute. And then my golden hoops are Monica Venator. And tote bag is from a jewelry brand I worked with a long time ago. And let's head out. later and i'm back home i have been gone literally all day just hitting some stores and i did some reading at barnes and nobles and i also did some damage so yeah we're gonna be doing a little collective haul because i have quite a few things to show you so the first place i went to was of course barnes and nobles because that was the whole purpose of this video and it did kind of show you guys when i was in there and show you some books that i read some books that i was interested in buying and here are the two books that i got so as usual i'm gonna show you the book and then i'm going to read what the book is about first book that i got i'm super excited about this is the second book of the inheritance games series this is the hawthorne legacy i became obsessed with this series i'm gonna be talking about that series in an upcoming video and this book, they only have the hardcover one and the third book is actually going to come out, I think, in August. So I'll read to you guys what this one is about. It says, Sander replied, of course you weren't. The old man's mind didn't operate that way. He didn't just choose you for them. Then being Grayson and James Sander, game being the one already sold. He left you a game too, I said slowly. It was the only thing that made sense. Nash had warned me. Ones that their grandfather had in all likelihood never intended me to be a player. Was the glass ballerina or, or the knife? A part of the puzzle, a tool, an arrow. I narrowed my eyes as Sander, no matter the old man's intentions, I wasn't here to be used. So it is kind of a little bit of a conventional description and that's why. And that's because the first book just kind of explains what this is supposed to be about. So yeah. This is by Jennifer Lean Barnes, by the way, which is the author of this whole series. The second book that I got is a book by Ale Kennedy, actually. This is The Good Girl Complex. I've heard, I think Steph Bower mentioned this book and I think she really liked it. So we love her recommendations. And this book says, she does everything right, so what could go wrong? Mackenzie Mack, short for Mackenzie, I guess, Cabot, is a people pleaser. It's exhausting, really always following the rules. All she wants to do is focus on growing her internet business. The first, But first, she must get a college degree at her parents' insistence. That means moving to the beachside town of, of Avalon Bay, a community made up for the locals and the wealthy students of Garnet College. 20-year-old Mack has had plenty of practice suppressing her wilder impulses, but when she meets local bad boy Cooper Hartley, the ability is suddenly tested. 
Cooper is rough around the edges, raw, candid, a threat to her order existence. Her friendship soon becomes the realest thing in her life. Despite his disdain for the trust fund kids he sees coming and going from his town, Cooper soon realizes Mac isn't just another rich clone and falls for her heart. But as Mac finally starts feeling accepted by Cooper and his friends, the secret he's been keeping from her threatens the only place she's ever felt at home. So... Can't wait to read this. I freaking love Elka and she wrote the Off Campus series. And that's one of my favorite series. So we're gonna be reading that. And then I went to Target and I also got a book there. So I'll be showing you guys the book that I got there before we move on to the rest of the vlog. Okay, so the last book that I got is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is book number one from a series that has been all over my FYP and also I've heard about on YouTube and literally everywhere. Everyone freaking loves this series. I'm gonna read you guys' description, although I'm pretty sure you know this book. It says, this is a story of an investigation turned obsession. Pretty popular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Saul Sang who then killed himself. It was all anyone could talk about. And five years later, Pipe, Pipe says how the tragedy still haunts her town. I don't know how to say her name. So now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the close case for her final project. At first, just to cast doubt on the original investigation, but soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove so innocent. And the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip I'm just gonna say pipe you guys digging around for answers and now her own life might be in danger so if I get into the series we're gonna be having to order the other books from Amazon because I won't be going to Marshall Nobles for the rest of the month we'll see okay so I also got some like groceries to make dinner today from Target and I got this sweatshirt I'm super into like an oversized fit right now it just says New York and like Niagara Falls, I think. I don't know, it looks really vintage -y and I'm obsessed with vintage vibes, so. I went to some other clothing store whose name I can't remember and I got two more things from like their silk. Cause I'm obsessed with like the whole oversized fit situation. I got this like loose bottom up shirt that I'm gonna style many different ways. I'm gonna put a picture of an inspo that I have over here. I got this like, I don't know what these shirts are called, but. You get the idea. So that's all I got. Uh, I wanted to do a little collective haul. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys and talk about are the glasses that I'm wearing. I'm sure if you're a fellow glasses lover like me, you've been staring at my glasses. time. <laughs> this video has been playing. I'm so conceited. So yeah, these glasses are from Ivy Direct. I actually have two pairs of glasses to show you. This is not sponsored, but I do work with them quite often and do spoil me a lot. It's a lot of cute glasses. And these are... The Notting Hill frame, and this is what they look like close up. Super cute, Taurus frame, and they look like on. I think these are like size medium. I'll be linking the frames down below because I know you guys love shopping these. I think they have a sale going on right now where you, I don't know, get 25% off or something. They usually have super good deals going on. So this is the first pair, and then. The second pair I have comes in this little pouch and this box. The second pair, it's like a very basic frame. Honestly, if you have been a real legit follower of mine on here, subscriber, you might have seen these frames before because I think in the very first YouTube video that I uploaded, I used to have these frames in my old prescription and then I got them again. So I had these in a while. So. The second pair are these like darker tortoise shell print frames. These are the domain frames and these are super cute. Like this elevates the whole look. I love it. I bet I'm obsessed. So shove my iPad direct frames down below. Even though this is not sponsored, I do get a small commission if you guys shove using my links. So you can do that to support me. And I think I'm about to like go cook dinner and hopefully wrap up this video. I honestly don't even know if this video is going to be 10 minutes long because I don't know. I've been wanting to like 
edit a bunch of videos that I film. And this one's gonna go up actually tomorrow, so this might go up super early. I have a lot of editing to do, you guys. I know I'm a little bit behind on my uploading schedule. I want to start uploading two videos a week, but that hasn't happened. So we're gonna be working on being better at that. I can't wait to read all the books that I got, and I hope you guys enjoy like the little collective haul, I think it's called. I remember back in the good old days on YouTube, people used to do those so much. They would just show all kinds of stuff, like glasses, clothing, everything. Those used to be really fun days where there was not much pressure on YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much you guys for subscribing to my channel, by the way. I've been steadily growing. We're almost at 500 subscribers. And maybe we can hit a thousand subscribers in the next few months. Make sure to subscribe so you can help me out. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video because I have to go make dinner. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and being part of this little family. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to support me so we can hit a thousand subscribers in the next few minutes. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.